Comic Con happened. It's gone. And uh, just recently, Jason Momoa was in London. Uh, or some place down in England, anyway, in the UK. And a fan had approached him and asked him about the Snyder Cut and, and if it exists and stuff. And it's reported that it, you know, it's reported that he answered them. It's also reported that he basically shouted out, you know, that the, the Justice League movie is good, but the Zack Snyder Cut is better. Now, we've all reported, everyone I know has always reported that um, Jason Momoa has always said this. As, and it's reported that he'd seen the cut, along with the other actors. And they've all said that they've seen this cut of Zack Snyder because they were involved in the film. So they could see it. And we've had reports from um, actors telling us not to give up and to to keep going and keep pushing for the Zack Snyder Cut. My question is, why do we need to push? Why do we need to beg? It should be in Warner Brothers. Um, you know, it should already be up there with Warner Brothers to actually release it. We shouldn't be needing to ask or sign petitions. They should honour a director's version of the film. Now, yes, they'll probably honour it, but I think what we're asking for is, yes, release the Zack Snyder cut, but don't make his wait five or ten years for it. Release it now while the iron is still hot. Now it's um, Cyborg. Uh, I keep forgetting his name. Um, I've got a statue up there. I've got a statue. Um, Fisher has has always wore the T-shirt. I love Zack Snyder. Now it was reported at one point that he said that you know that the that he claims that there was that somebody claimed that he said that the the Yes, the Snyder Cut exists, but it doesn't make any difference, yada yada. Bill Kish, okay? That, that is rubbish. Because why would he feel, shortly after the film was released, wear a t-shirt, I love Zack Snyder, uh, and and for the, for the parts that were missing from the film, to include some spectacular shots of him, why would they not be, uh, why would he say anything different than uh, Snyder Cut is ten times better when he would probably feature more in it. But for these actors to come forward and shout out that they've seen the Snyder Cut and they have and they believe it is better then why Zack Snyder have you not came out right Look at this contract. I don't know what Warner Brothers either done to Zack Snyder that somehow he feels that he can only post a picture of a thumb with a cut and some pictures because he has been quiet. Then why have you not answered your devoted fans? The longer this goes on, the, the more people will slowly turn against. Even your most devoted fan. If all these actors are brave enough to come forward and said that they have seen a film that you, no doubt, have shown them uh, their film, then why can't you at least say it exists? Why? You, and for those doubters out there that say that it doesn't, he's never once said it doesn't exist. And I have said many times, every director has their own cut of the movie. And it's up to the studios uh, to release it. So, but for Zach to, uh, for Jason Momoa to come out and bellow it all out, for everyone to hear, 
Surely now, Warner Brothers, listen to the fans. Make your DC grow. Join the fans, the haters and the lovers and whatnot together by releasing the Snyder Cut. And let's not just, you know, we don't want to hear it from the actor's voice. We don't want to hear it from uh, the artist that does this, uh, J. Mom, um, J. Olivia, who does the storyboard. We don't need to hear it from him. We want to hear it from you, studios. We want to hear it from Zach. These are the people we want to need. As soon as you see it, at least it will ease down the tension. It will ease down the tension. But as soon as you mind you, what it will do is the next thing you'll need to know is will we ever get it? So yes, tell us if it exists or not. And two, when is it? When will you be releasing it? And then, and then maybe the public will calm down. Fake news will stop bombarding that, but saying that DC fans are, are numpties and we belong with the same people that claim that the last Star Wars Jedi should be remade. We're not wanting a film to be remade. We believe that there is a version already shot. But please... Stop leaving it to the actors and everybody else involved in the film to say it exists. We want the top men to do it. So thank you, Jason Momoa. Thank you, Cyborg. Say thank you. Not as much Henry Cavill, mind you. Henry Cavill is... But again, he is on the fence. He always plays it safe and he tries to watch because he doesn't want... To fall in the uh, in anybody's bad way uh, in the studios, you know he's it's quite hard to suss out um, where Henry Henry Cavill's loyalty lie. I I can maybe see why he might uh, be different from the rest because he got a chance to show this side of Superman and this version that he always believed Superman to be along with many other millions of people that believe that Man of Steel wasn't near Superman and that this Superman. But I believe in my heart and soul that whatever Superman has been portrayed in the Snyder Cut isn't as far off as what you've already done, Henry. So let us leave your comments and um, stuff below. Thank you.